Hey guys and welcome back. This is Surge to another episode of Star Maid. Today we're going to take things down a little notch and we're just going to look at something a little bit more ordinary uh, compared to what we've looked at so far. Uh, I want to actually just spend this episode looking at a new ship that I built. It's a small ship, a little jump ship. I don't have a name for it and I want you guys to help me name it uh, in the comments below. But before you do, obviously, hold all those comments until you can have a good look at it and get a bit of an idea, a feel for it. And maybe you guys can come up with a name that I haven't thought of already. I've got a few suggestions from some people. Uh, but yeah, I want, I want to get you guys' opinion because I just want to make this chill episode nice and nice and easy. Um, not put a lot of effort into it. Um, only because, as you can probably hear, I'm nursing a bit of a cough at the moment. And, well, that's not super fun. Uh, well... Not at all. I mean, in my line of work, I'm in sales and I speak a lot most of the time all day. And having to cough every five minutes is pretty good. I'm going to try my best not to cough in this video, but hey, let's see how we go. Anyway, here we are in the Haven Guard station and we're going to go for a little walk. Uh, and we're going to, you know, spend a little time discussing this ship uh, before we get there. But uh, if you couldn't see already, this is the beautiful skin that has been made for me by JRL, one of the players here on my server, uh, and an old faction mate of mine who's an absolute genius when it comes to skins, asked for something similar to the uh, original, uh, a little bit more voxely, um, but a lot higher res, and I gave him a little bit of an idea of what I want my face to look like, I even got the glowing red eyes like I had in the Curso video, I've got a few of these with different expressions, and yeah, there's some pretty cool effort there, but this isn't a video about my skin, this is a video about my ship, so let's keep going on, I'm going to drop down this little shaft here, where we'll be an elevator at some point, into this empty room, which will probably be, uh, I don't know what's going to be in there yet, but on the opposite side here we have the infirmary, which is obviously an infirmary. Uh, anyway, let's press this button, go into the hangar here. Uh, so this is the ship I want to show off. I don't have a name for it. Right now we're going to call it the Hyperloop because I kind of showed it off in my first little Hyperloop, ep Hyperloop episode. And I'm going to be doing a Hyperloop episode uh, once a week and just kind of keep you guys in the loop with what's going on on the StarMaid server. Ooh, I just realized I've got a... Yeah, I'll have to do that in a second. I've got a... I missed a spot. I missed a spot on it, but what we're going to do here is we're in the main hangar, and this is its going to be its home now. I've actually got a ship now for the main hangar, which is quite nice. I'm going to press this button here, open up the main hangar doors, and away we go. So, uh, I modeled this off of my... Uh, Fury fighters, uh, which are the little fighters that I had in the back of the oppressor. Uh, I'm going to jump up in here. Normally, if the hatch is closed, uh, as you can see, there's a hatch there. And if normally, if the hatch is closed, you press this button and the hatchet closes up. Let's go to first person mode. There we go. So the, the hatchet will close up, and then you'll need to open it up by pressing that button. The core is right here, uh, and so is the cockpit. You sit in the seat here, the hatch closes up, and away you go. You're inside the cockpit, which is quite cool. Quite cool, indeed. Um, and yeah, you just turn your head around and there is the core. So, uh, before we take this off, let's just have a bit of a run around. Uh, this thing is, let's turn the HUD on. Uh, it's not very long, it's only 31 meters long by almost that wide. It's very square. We'll have another look at it uh, while we've flown it out. But before we leave this, I've just realized I've missed a spot. So we're going to jump into creative mode real quick. Uh, and we're going to fix that up. So, if you're going to see on the edge here, I've got all these lights. Um, lining the end, uh, and I've just missed right under here. I'm going to stick these under here. Uh, I know they're making lots of bright light, but we're actually going to turn them all off because we don't want to use those for light. We just want to use them for the aesthetics that is uh, effectively kind of a cap, a corner cap. Make it look a little bit more rounder. Uh, give it a little bit of, I guess, look to it. I guess one thing I should probably try is maybe use it with some white hull. That'll be interesting. See how that would look. Anyway, let's um, let's take off. So this thing only has a jump drive and it has a rail docker. So let's go for a little fly out the door here. Yeah, how awesome is that view? Oh, I wish I could have seen that in third person. But as you go, guys, this is it. Nice and agile. And as you can imagine, this has a 2.5 uh, thrust to mass ratio, 
which makes it very, very quick, it, which means on the server, it has a max speed of 900, which I believe is the max speed of the server. So this thing is very, very fast. It only has about a, um, geez, a, uh, how much, about 3,000, 4,000 shields, so anything that shoots at this is pretty much going to kill it. Um, it's not designed for combat, it's designed for speed. Uh, it's also why I've used normal hull instead of standard armor, like I do in most of my other builds, uh, just to make it as light as possible. Uh, there's lots of revealed systems on this thing too, because at the end of the day, uh, it's just gonna blow up if something shoots at it. Uh, but hopefully it can take just a small, small enough amount of damage to not just immediately die. Uh, it should outrun most missiles, uh, assuring, uh, assuring it doesn't get blindsided by one. Uh, but yeah, it is it is a pretty little agile little guy there. So uh, it's got some thruster plumes in the back there. Let's take a closer look at this thing. Um, this beautiful shot there of the sun. I really like where I set up station here. There's the sun right out there. You got these beautiful sunbeams, the god rays. Ah, so good, so good. Anyway, let's align this ship up and have a closer look. Turn that HUD off and jump into build mode, and away we go. So. This is it, guys. There's not much to it. It's a tiny little ship, a little bit bigger than a fighter. Uh, probably a lot of people would consider this a fighter. Uh, and, and personally, I'm a bit on the border. I'd probably call this a heavy fighter. Um, or maybe call it a fighter, but it's not a fighter. It doesn't have any weapons. It's a lover, not a fighter. It could easily be customized to become a fighter. Uh, I've got a few comments on it so far. Some people saying it's a bit blocky, um, which kind of was on purpose. It was kind of designed to be a little bit blocky. Uh, but that's sort of how I've got it. I really like it almost as a logo as well. Um, I'm almost keen to use it as the Star Made Australia, or at least enter it into the competition for the Star Made Australia logo, because if you're looking at that from the top down, it makes a very awesome silhouette. And if I took that into Photoshop, I might actually, you know what, let's do this. Let's press F12. There we go. Take a screenshot, and we might play around with that in some Photoshop a bit later. So. Uh, as far as it goes, guys, yeah, this is pretty much it. There's not much to it. It's my little getaway out. What we're going to do is we're going to turn the HUD back on. We're going to jump into the map here. And as you can see, I'm all the way out there on the very rim of the galaxy. So looks like there's some people building up, building up. So those aren't actually NPC factions here and here. Uh, and even up here, these are actually player factions because we've turned it so that faction points are gained earning territories rather than sp uh, spent controlling territories. So this actually gives a reason for people to actually start spreading out But it also means your resources are stretched a little thin when you got to put defendable uh, Sort of bases because only one of your bases for your faction is indestructible uh, It also is interesting because it stops people. Oh, there's actually a lot more going on out there that I realized um, Yeah, there's a lot more. Uh, oh, this, yeah, it just doesn't. Okay, that's cool It's gonna keep popping around. So it's a very active server. We got a few people online at the moment yeah, lots of people online at the moment. I'm the only admin online right now, so these are all non-admin players. A lot of new faces. Inferno, JDJ Cool, uh, Destroth, uh, Emfin, I've seen you on the Discord quite a bit. Uh, Ripmax, ooh, your ping. I think Rip's an appropriate term right there. Um, bit of ping going on in the server right now, although everyone seems to be pretty low. I'm at about 200. I wonder why that is. Probably this guy's causing a lot of ping. Or this guy, I don't know. Everyone seems to be dropping up and down. Either way, uh, what we're going to do really quick is um, I'm going to try and get probably not to the center of the galaxy because that's a bit far away. We're going to probably try and jump to as close. Actually, who's who's this? Who's this out here? This is owned by uh, Elysium. Elysium? Elysium. Let's give that a quick admin scan. We got a base down here, Asteroid Prime. Ooh, this looks interesting. Let's plot puff the current, and let's see how far away that is. That is 3,127 kilometers away, uh, and we're going to jump there. And jump. And what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to try and get there as quick as possible, uh, because it's, as you can see, my jump drive charges very very fast and this is a good test of the ship I can fly at full speed I'm not even up to full speed yet uh, without losing any power while jumping uh, it's a very good test this is a great little jump drive uh, station I probably should check my cost so I'm not flying through any suns like I look that's ah, void space there's no sun in this void space that's good uh, but let's try and get 
this jump jet charge. Almost at full speed there. Almost at full speed. And now I'm at 900 kilometers. Uh, 900 meters uh, a second. So that's about a kilometer a second. So this should take us about 283 seconds minus what it takes to jump. So this shouldn't take too long at all. I just gotta remember to keep an eye on the navigation so I don't fly through a sun. Although I'm about to go through a bunch of void space, so I don't think that's gonna be a massive problem. Can you keep my finger on that jump drive? Keep that jump drive a going. Now obviously I can just admin jump wherever the hell I want. It's my server, I can do as I please. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, you know, it, this is something I always like to build. Build these little jump ships. Um, I haven't built one before because I haven't really needed to. Um, but something like the Oppressor, it just takes forever to get anywhere. If I want to take that on something, I, ne I typically need to fly it there. Maybe with an escort. I really I don't think so. Not not at the moment. Not with the military of many people's sh uh, ships and stuff at the moment. But at, at some point, I'm going to need a proper escort to get that around because it's a sitting duck if it's just kind of lost out there in the wilderness and people, if they find it, the jump drive on it's not amazing. Um, and it moves like a stunned elephant. It is so slow, but it's an absolute tank. It can take a hit uh, and quite a bit. So let's keep going on. Getting a bit close now. We're about 25, 20, 20, a bit shy of 2,500 kilometers out. So we're making a bit of pace. I might even cut cut it here or, or somewhere soon just to sort of give you guys a bit of an idea I got time we're about 12 minutes into this video so if I cut it I will let you guys know exactly how long it took me uh, but I'm pretty confident it won't take very long uh, and, and you know I got a little bit of time to kill in this video once we hit 15 minutes if I'm not there I'm gonna cut it and then we're gonna finish it up the video with me there um, and and just there doing stuff but uh, I don't know guys, let me know in the comments below what I should name this thing because I haven't got a name for it yet, I really like it. Um, I've got a few suggestions, I got the Prowler, which is pretty cool. It's not a stealth ship, although it may even be able to, I don't know, I don't know whether it can maintain stealth. Might try that out at the end of the uh, episode. It has a lot of power, it has, um, where are we at, it has power, 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 power. Uh, power, console, per second, max. Where, how do I check power? There we go. So it's 25,000 power per second and it has 50,000 power because it has no capacitors. So, um, I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe it would actually support a, a, a stealth drive. I don't, I doubt it just because of the shape and the size of it. Maybe it can go stealth for a little bit. It could probably support a radar jammer. It could probably stick one in there somewhere. In fact, I probably should put a radar jammer in there. Um, I, know about, I don't know about the cloaker though. Um, I don't know enough about the cloaking um, numbers and that kind of workout, what's going on. Uh, I could probably stick some weapons in there if I really wanted to. They wouldn't be very powerful, but they could, they would suffice. So, yeah, let me know, let me know in the comments below. Um, I've been given some suggestions. I, I don't mind some link, like, insectoid, um, because I got a few other insectish kind of named ships. I've got my Scar, which I'm naming the Locust, uh, and I've got the... Um, the Cicada, which is my little personnel ship. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I really want to work out what you guys would like to, to call this thing. Uh, one, one thing, though, is, is I'm not going to name this one. I'm actually going to leave it up to you guys. You name it. And my, the one I think is the best name will be the name of this ship permanently. I'm more than happy to let this ship go off with another name. Um, obviously I'd be a little less inclined to do that on a bigger build that I poured a lot more effort into. Uh, but this one didn't take me very long. It took me about maybe 20 minutes, 20-30 minutes. Uh, slapped it all together. Uh, it's almost like a new version of the Valkyr. Uh, there's another option for you guys. Um, I, I named quite a few of my combat ships uh, off to like mythological things. Uh, we got the the Welsh Screamer, which is kind of like the Green Dragon, which is like that's my that's a Falchion. I got a few names for that one. I still still have to decide on one final name for that one, which will be the ship's uh, this month's ship of the month, uh, which I have to get back in and finish for at some point. Kind of got it all shelled out at the moment, and we're gonna we're gonna get that all jazzed up and ready to go for the ship of the month. Um, 
<coughs> Excuse me. There you go, guys. I held it in a really long time. I, I couldn't hold that in the whole way. Uh, we're about about 15 minute mark, uh, and we're about only halfway there. So, what we might do uh, is I might just keep speaking, but we're gonna just kind of like zoom, 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 zoom. Keep flying around. I don't know. I don't want to make this any longer than it has to be. Uh, but I'll probably cut it there, and and we'll see how we we go from here. There we go. So we're about 200 kilometers away from our destination now, guys. Um, hopefully, I've worked out how to speed that last part up. Otherwise, I would have just cut it out. Um, but as far as it goes, yeah, this has only been... It's been about three, maybe four minutes now longer than... Um, so I finished at about 15 minutes, and now we're at about 19 minutes. So yeah, about four minutes to get that kind of distance. So... I don't know, I find that quite fast. That was a good, you know, couple of thousand kilometers away. Uh, I was about 3,000 kilometers away when I started. Ooh, looks like I'm at my destination. Um, better slow down. That's the one big issue with this ship is slowing down. Uh, which is not too bad a problem with so slowing down. Just check the map here real quick. Yeah, let me set that back as the uh, plot path. There we go. So let's just slow down here, and oh, there it looks like that's our waypoint. Let's fly towards that. Uh, slamming on the brakes, got a big skid happening there. Um, uh, goddamn physics, why you got to be so painful? So we're about 24 kilometers out, which is less than a jump away. But I really want to slow down before I jump in there. We're about 130. Meters, yeah, that's fast enough. Let's jump on in there. Jump on in, I said. All right, so let's check out this base. All right, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Let's uh, turn on the navigator. Asteroid Prime, Elysium. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, is this an asteroid base? That it'd be pretty cool. Let's have a look. What's going on here? Oh man, it is an asteroid base. That is pretty freaking amazing. Jumping in the cockpit view here. I don't think anybody is online for this faction. Ah, oh, it looks just like an asteroid. That is pretty cool. <laughs> so if you're all, if you're watching this and you're you're part of the faction Elysium, uh, let me know in the comments below because this is pretty cool. I can see something docked to it there. Uh, if it's docked, or yeah, it looks like a docked ship. Uh, this is pretty cool, guys. Wonder, and I'll have to ask you guys, did you make this yourselves in creative mode? Or did you do something else? Or Because you can't just slap a station on, or a block onto an asteroid and claim it, so. I'm going to be very nosy here, guys, and have a bit of a look inside here. So this looks like, yeah, that looks like a scanner, or radar, or maybe even a ship. Yeah, it kind of looks like a ship. Yeah, but it's definitely a ship. Uh, then we got this thing's solid, so... It doesn't look like it has any minerals, so that means it's probably been uh, created. It's been cut into... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Some cargo going on there. Uh, yeah, so you got some empty spots around here. Um, almost looks like they've kind of like done a whole creative sort of thing here where 
a uh, bit of a role play thing where they're literally just got this asteroid base which is solid and they're slowly building into it which is a really wicked kind of way to play I'm, I'm really impressed that's pretty cool you got a build block there yeah there's not a whole lot going on inside of it um you got all your factories and that there but that is pretty freaking awesome that is a cool i mean you can't say it's a stealth station because realistically oh hold on hold on hold on hold on this looks like oh my oh my is this it looks like they've just copy pasted from over here which is that's pretty clever if that's what you've done that's pretty effing clever I like it I really like it yeah that looks like block that you've used oh yeah maybe over there this is pretty cool guys I'd really like to see how this goes in the future but this is a cool little station with a cool little ship that's kind of just met up in the middle of the galaxy and that guys is the beauty of Star Maid giving you guys an experience like this so yeah uh, leave your comments in the comment section below with what you'd like to name the ship I have here as far as it goes it's the Hyperloop prototype uh, which is what I'm gonna call it Hyperloop prototype one for the time being the best name will become the name of this ship uh, permanently I will honor that and uh, yeah, let me know. It's pretty quick, as you saw. I got from point A to point B in less than ten minutes. When that was about, that was about um, three and a half thousand kilometers away. So yeah, I'm pretty pretty stoked with how this has turned out. I could probably use a ooh before before we call this video a day. Let's turn back on the HUD. Let's grab a uh, oh not a camera. We want a radar jammer, and we want a cloaker, and we're gonna slap these on here. Um, probably slap them. Where are we gonna slap these? Where are we gonna slap them? Slap them in there. Let's slap them in here and here. Yep, they're in there. So we put the set the radar jammer and the cloaker there and there. Uh, and we'll go ahead and we'll try them out um, because I don't think the cloak is gonna work, but I reckon the radar jammer will. So let's have a look here. So let's try the radar jammer. Not a problem. Let's try charge and move. Ooh, charging and moving and jumping just doesn't want to work particularly well with that radar jammer on. That's okay. Uh, once you hit max speed, the Newtonian physics kick in anyway. Let's turn off the radar jammer and the cloaker. No. So, no, no, the cloaker does not work, guys. That is not happening anytime soon. Let's take that out. Uh, we might leave in that radar jammer, but anyway, guys. Uh, leave a comment, like I said. Uh, also, if you like the video, leave a like. That always helps. I always like to see people liking my stuff. And hey, if you dislike the video, leave a dislike because, yeah, that's an option. And if you haven't already, subscribe because if you want to see more of this content, you love Star Made stuff, and you want to see more of what I do, leave that uh, little subscribe button a little press. Yeah, give it a little press there, guys. Anyway, guys, this has been Surge uh, with a little ship showcase of the Hyperloop Prototype 1. Thanks for watching.